Hello everybody, Basker back again with another episode of Banished. I believe we're on episode 12 now. In the last episode, we got our first trader. It wasn't all that exciting. All he had was sheep, but we were able to order some chickens. So hopefully he shows back up at a decent time, um, sometime soon, so we can actually get us uh, some chickens going. Uh, chickens will really help out our food and material situation right now going to show up. We could if, to an extent, if we built a uh, farm supplier, which is something we might consider doing. Um, it's not something I was going to do right away, but um, it would allow us to get in the livestock that we need. Uh, but I think for now I'm going to wait and just see what he can bring in. Um, I haven't really messed with chartered companies. That's something I need to look into before we go and start building it. So let's see here. We had some people die off, um, but we also had a couple people come la uh, labor, so that's good. But we're at a deficit on our homes, so don't, we don't want to really be building any more homes. Now we can place our homes and then unpause them as necessary, and that's something I really actually recommend doing. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place some more roads down. I'm starting to get more into the kind of the aesthetics of this game. Uh, since we're finally stabilized here on food and such. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then uh, we've been building the salt box houses. And one thing I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to pause. Just because I don't want them to start building these, but I need to place them and I don't want to place, pause, place, pause, place, pause. So we'll do that. And then what I'm going to I'm just going to come up and I'm going to pause each one of these. We don't want to build yet. Um, I could break the road over. I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet. Um, we might want to do something a little more here. I'm kind of thinking though, I'm gonna put a road kind of going in behind him because I don't think I'm going to butt anything right up against this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put another one in. And I think... Um, might look okay if I put in just like really small stockpiles in these little blank spots. That's just a uh, something I like doing. Anytime I have a little bitty spot where it's like, yeah, what am I gonna put there? You know, I might build decorations later. I mean, there's a whole decorations menu um, where you can build things like trees and bushes and that kind of stuff. And I do do that kind of stuff. Um, I just don't do it right away usually because I'm not sure what things are gonna be left as, and I don't want to build a lot of things that I'm not really needing at the time. You know, our laborers have plenty of other things to do. So, something with stockpiles uh, gives us the ability. It's just a place for somebody to dump some stuff off really quick. See, this guy's already dumping some stuff off. Apparently, it can dump candles off right there. So, um, that might have actually made our can or here just a little bit more efficient. I'm not sure. Um, I want to see. We really need stuff in the trading materials. So, I'm going to pump this up to two and see how we do here. We may not have enough beeswax to cover this. I'm not sure. We did 42 last season. Let's, let's see if we can get closer to s somewhere between 60 and 80. We are actually at our food limit? We are. It's amazing. Okay, so you never actually want to be at your food limit. You want to have way more food than you actually need. So I'm just going to set this thing up to... The highest it will go, which I'm not 100% certain what that is, but we're going to do it. Whoops, that was my steam. Um, set a bunch of nines. And we're at a bunch of nines. I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't ever want to stop producing food. Oh, we've got another trader. Let's see what we got here. Come on, something good. Hmm, not really. I don't know why we would need silverware. I'm not sure what silverware would be good for. Use those for it. I'm not going to buy any because I don't think I need any of this right now. Now, jade I know would be used for, um, uh, like, I want to say you can make a jeweler. Um, yeah, so we can make, like, stone carvers and um, gem cutters. And I can't make those right now. Well, I could make the stone carver. Um, and he can use jade to make a statue. Should we make a statue carver? That might be really good for trading. 
But he can make it out of wood, stone. So we could make lower ones. I don't know if I necessarily need to buy any jade. Let's do that. Let's let's put this in. I think that's gonna be neat. Um, where do we wanna put him? I mean, just about everything he builds gonna go to the trader because I doubt seriously if we're gonna keep any of the statues that he makes. So should we build him over here by the trader? It's an option. On the other hand, he's similar in size to our candler. Maybe we want to build him over here and keep our theme with building around a town square. Um, hopefully I didn't just place that. Let's see. Hmm. Similar in size, but not exact same size. You know, I think this is close enough to the trader, and I'm going to be putting another market in, so... I think... Yeah, I think we're going to do this. Um, I'm actually going to build it like this. I know that that's more road than it needs, but I think that's going to look better. So we'll do that. Still trying to decide if I want to buy some of that jade. I might. Yeah, so we'll do like that. We build other buildings this way, they might uh, have more road. I like my roads, guys. I like my roads. I thought I had too many there, maybe not. All the way text, I can't see. Yeah, we're probably good. Whoa, what do you think? Let's see, should we buy Jade? Cost 10, but he will take Tallow, and, um, and he'll take Bone Mill. We're not using Bone Mill for anything at the moment. I mean, like, nothing. 324, so we could actually take, what, uh, I'm gonna try to math here, guys, and math's not strong. Be 30? Yeah, 30. Um, so we could take 32. We're gonna overpay by 4 if we do that. So I could drop this down to 7. Then we're only overpaying by 1. And I'm okay with that. He can have a tip. A trade. Now, see, you could do this multiple times if you want to you know, just drain, drain the man. Um, not sure if I want to buy more or not. What else can he bring us? Oh, he can bring us feathers. Should we order some feathers? I'm gonna click feathers. Um, of course. Do we really want him to bring us feathers, or would we rather him bring us stuff that we can actually make clothes out of that are better? I mean, really, we're only using the feathers and the reeds right now because of a lack of something better. And I want to say that clothing does have tiers to it that make it, you know, people warmer or they last longer. Hmm. Let's see. Let's check our tailor really fast. He's out of stuff to work with. So for now, I'm going to switch him back to reeds and feathers, but we could use cloth and linen as well. There's something to be said for using wool, just for the simple fact that we have wool, and so it'd just be a constant um, set that we could use. We could actually build a cotton farm and start making some of our own cloth. That's possible. one just once for now, but we may end up getting it over and over again. You gotta be careful what you tell them to bring, though, because each thing that they bring has a certain like point value associated with it, and they can only bring so much in one boat. So if you have too many uh, uh, things that you're requesting to bring, he may not be able to bring all of it, and he won't be bringing you anything else. So that's something we want to keep in mind here. I'm seriously considering buying some more. We got lots of firewood. 
And we're able to replenish that really well. That'd be... So we could get 80 more jade. Let's do that. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna let him go now. Bye-bye. There he goes, sailing down the river. Okay, so let's get a stone cutter in here, and let's tell him to use jade. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the way this will work is... Um, he'll make jade statues, and we can put them into our trading post, and we'll be able to sell jade statues. And I'm guessing jade statues are going to sell for a lot. Um, until we make one, I'm not sure. Um, so if we look here, he brought 25 jade in immediately. So we need to see if we can pay close attention to how many statues he builds to see if this is going to be worth it. Because we paid 10 for each one of those jades. So if he uses 25 jade to make one statue, that's going to be, what, uh, 250... 250? Yeah, that's going to cost us... 250 to do that if he uses 25. So we're going to have to pay close attention, see what he actually uses. It may or may not be profitable to use jade. Now, that said, um, trees are plentiful, and so we could build them out of logs without an issue. Um, and I'm assuming they're still going to sell more. I, I think the Colonial Charter guys are, you know, uh, so that's Team Black Liquid, I believe is what they call themselves. And so I think they're pretty good at what they do. I don't think they're going to give us something that's super inefficient. I think they're going to give us stuff that actually works. So we made one statue already. And we had 37 in there, it said, a second ago. And now we got two statues. So maybe 10-ish? 10-ish? This is probably all documented somewhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my trading post, find those jade statues. The issue happened before where stuff just doesn't show up right away. So it might just be a matter of giving it a few minutes. So we'll check back here in a second. Yeah, see, so there's jade statues in here now, so... You know, since we've done this, I kind of really think we need another market in order to bring this whole line in. Um, I kind of want to build a bigger market, uh, just because we're going to expand over here at some point in time. To... I did not leave enough room up here. Building the market right next to the church is not so bad. I would just have to get rid of that stockpile. And that would give me some overlap. That's one option. Another option would be to come up here and build it. If I did it up here, that would bring me in closer to that stuff up there, and I'm not really losing a whole lot. What's that going to look like, though? I don't know if I'm going to like the way that looks. And I might be taken away from where the duck blind can actually hunt ducks, too. I'm not sure. Hmm. I kind of think I am going to put it right in this area. Mm. Let's see, this one goes to there. If I use one of the small ones. Oh, that's really any smaller. This is the edibles market. Bad thing about using an edibles is there's nothing pick up the leather that way. You know what? Screw it. We're going to put it right here. Come in here, get rid of that. And then once he goes away, we'll be able to deal with that. Well, let's see, it's been a bit here. Let's check and see, can we put jade statues in there yet? Assuming they're showing up in alphabetical order. We should sort through something else. Ah, there they go. Okay, so maybe that's something to keep in mind, guys. If you don't sort, if you don't see what you need in here, maybe try just clicking on sort and see if that takes care of it. Let's say 100. Let's see what. Oh, wow, our jade statues sell for 240. So he's got to be using less than 10 per in order for that to make any sense, I think. 
But we'll, we'll, we'll try to pay attention. We'll see ultimately how many statues he's made versus how many he's got. Hmm, he's not good. Okay, so he's got enough for 12. We know kind of how much jade we have, so we should be able to see. And if it's saying he doesn't have enough for 12, then I'm not sure. This may not really pan out, because it would be 250 minimum. We'd be better off selling our jade if that was the case. Although, what is jade worth by itself? Okay, yeah, jade is worth the same as what we bought it for. I don't know. That may not have been worth it. We'll see. In the end, we'll still have some stuff to trade with. Uh, it takes up less space. That might be the other consideration. Um, well, not really, though. It doesn't really take up less space in this case. Um, it would to the extent that you got 10 jade versus... You know, or 12 jade versus one statue. So it is taking up less space, but... Um, yeah. I'm not sure... We may we may end up switching over to logs or stone. Let's switch up this to 2,000 just so that we don't stop. See, he may actually be still producing stuff still. It's hard to say because he keeps going back and forth, back and forth. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Let's see. Okay, so that's gone. So we can go and put our market in. I think. To a central market or a rural market? The rural market really doesn't reach up as far as I want. So I think I'm going to do a central. Should have planned this out a little better with this farm. That's okay. Live and learn. Live and learn. We can always go back and fix it later if we don't like it. And I noticed, I think, that it said we had nomads. We do have nomads. We have six nomads. Uh, do we want to bring in our nomads. Let me fix on houses. So we've got more families than we do houses. So we need to build some more houses. We've got 11 laborers, four builders going right now. It's a little bit risky. A little bit risky. Mm. Now, unlike the trader, the nomads will leave, I think, even with this up. I could be wrong. They may stay there forever, but uh, it's not something I want to chance. It's either I'm going to do it or I'm not going to do it. The downside to accepting these is the only thing I have for health-wise is um, herbs. I, I, I don't have a hospital, so the treatment's limited to the herbalist at the moment. Um, the incentive for us to build a hospital. I don't know if we can actually build a hospital right now. Let's see, it's a hospital cost. We could build a hospital. And that would actually look pretty good. Right up in here. Wouldn't it? Would I want to build it that way or this way? Probably this way, because then there's two spaces on either side if you include the uh, road area. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to build here. I'm also going to go ahead and unpause these houses. So we really need those houses. And I'm going to go ahead and allow those nomads. Hopefully we don't get disease stricken. The bad thing is, is we have nowhere for these nomads to live at the moment. So they're homeless. Um, we could build a boarding house, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I'm not sure where we would want to build it. Maybe... No, I wouldn't want to build it up there yet. We could build it down here. But that's going to be... It's going to ruin my road layout if I do it that way. I could do it like this. It's, I think, the same width, looks like. Maybe build it right there? The boarding house? Yeah, let's do that. We'll build a boarding house right here. And then that way, anybody who doesn't have a home will be able to live there. Um, so that ought to help us out a little bit. Hopefully we don't get diseases. If we do get diseases, they hopefully our herbalists can take care of it. Switch our herbalists up to 200. That way if we do get hit, we'll have something that we can do.
do with it. And we got so many laborers now that I'm gonna go ahead and push that up. One or two people on those. Eh. Actually, let's go ahead and do that because we got enough laborers for the moment. Okay, let's see. How's our fishery doing? Okay, so we produced a lot of fish last time. So good, that third fisherman is doing some good. Um, isn't there something else I wanted to pay attention? Yeah, the candles. The candles! Okay, yeah, we're producing close to 80 with two people in there. That's good. Okay, and we can see he's not using... With the jade that we have, it's not enough to produce more statues. That makes me think that it really, it's either a one-to-one -one on the statues, the or it's not. I'm, it's difficult to say. I'm out of stone, so I don't want to use stone. I'm going to use... Choose logs for now, because they're something we can easily replenish. And we maybe just move our jade back over to the uh, trader. I still haven't brought those over, you know? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add another person to the trader. So the traders are the ones that actually, I think, go out and get stuff and bring it back in. It, it might be that the these guys can do it too, I'm not sure. That's my timer for this episode. I'll put in another one here. Let's get this built. We'll have one, maybe two in there. We got enough people now. Oh, we got our other trader. Okay, guys, we're going to take a look at this trader on the next episode. Um, so just kind of refresh here. We built us a stone, uh, a, a statue carver. Um, we bought jade. We're not sure if the jade is actually profitable. I don't think it is. It looks to me like it's a one-to-one because -one, um, they're selling for 240 I th If I had to guess, I would say we're using 14 because we have 12 in there now and he's not building anything. So I'm going to say they're using probably 14, and that's probably... Um, uh, would it be 14 or 24? It'd be 24. Uh, yeah, it'd be 24 times 10 would be 240. Um, now if he's using 14, that's good, but I don't think it is. He's got, he had 19 jade in here, so. We'll have to pay attention to that. Now, he hasn't built any out of logs yet, but I think logs are going to be more efficient. We're going to have to start increasing our log production either by cutting it down or uh, getting it with um, foresters not sure which yet we might want to build another forester up here that might be okay um yeah so things are going pretty good we accepted some nomads and you know so far n no big problems that i've seen um so in the next episode, we'll see what this trader has. We'll assign us over a doctor for the hospital. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, click like. If you don't like what you're seeing, click thumbs down. That's all right. Just let me know in the comments why you don't like it. And if you do like what you're seeing, uh, click that subscribe button. And I hope to see you back next time for another episode of Banished.